Hi, my name is Sandra Perkman, founder of the Passion Institute. I'm glad to have you. These three videos are excerpts of the Passion Warrior Conscious Leadership Training, which is a six week online and live mentoring um, leadership course. If you're interested in taking the full course, I would love to have you. You can check out our website, www.thepassioninstitute.com. The theme for this um, week is authentic connection, passion, and inner game. So this is a week where you will really focus on yourself, getting to know yourself more intimately, getting inside and listening to that inner drive, your heart, your inner knowing, that inner voice that some people call intuition. So it's going to be a really fantastic week and I really encourage you maybe not to listen so much from your head but listen more with your body if that makes any sense at all you know just that what is ringing true for you how is it really landing and feeling in your body I also want to encourage you to this week drop anything that you feel has this external expectation such as oh, I really should be doing that I don't really want to do this but I feel like guilt I feel this guilt and drive like I really should be doing this those are really great signs that it's your ego and your old imprinting that's driving you to feel you should meet some external need or expectation it's a very very great place to pull away so when you notice do I really want to do this? Is this like an in internal, yes, I want to do this. I can feel this gives me energy and vitality. I feel alive. Or do you have this like almost like a pressure on your shoulder and like a, a heart closing energy and like, oh, I should do this. Or, and also guilt. Oh my God, guilt is such a great indicator that you are not following your passion. You're not following your heart. So try to observe that. We'll actually have a, a journal exercise throughout the week, but I'm not going to introduce it quite yet. But that will help you with this exact process. I want to make sure I get through everything. I have so much I want to communicate to you. So, you know, passion, living your life and driving and creating your business from a place of passion and purpose is quite serious business. You know, they're soft skills, meaning they're, they're not something we can necessarily put in spreadsheets and understand in terms of, you know, the old business paradigm, the old leadership paradigm. But they're really serious indicators of you living a life of vitality and really being alive and, you know, contentment and joy and really happiness at a deep, deep, deep level. And I have some statistics I want to share with you, and I don't, I, I'm not remembering them all offhand, so I'm going to read up from a document here to make sure that I get all of them for you. 20% of the workforce in the U.S., and this is a survey from Gallup, 20% of the U.S. workforce is disengaged. And that's costing the U.S. economy $380 billion a year. That's looking at what it's costing the economy. Imagine all those people. They're not, you know, filling their souls and, and being alive. They're disengaged. And if they're disengaged at work where we spend so much time, that can definitely not lead to a very fulfilling life. That's a big problem. And... What is also found in Gallup's research is if your environment, meaning in your work environment, if your superior or your colleagues are not um, supporting you or acknowledging you, your likelihood of disengaging goes up by 45%. As human beings, we need to feel part of something bigger than ourselves. We also need to feel and know at a deep level that we matter. And if we're in a work environment where we're not receiving acknowledgement, 
it's really, it, it causes depression. You know, it's a slow decline typically, but it causes stress, depression, a total disconnect from ourselves. And it's not only our work productivity that goes down, but we know that business owners can relate to that because they certainly want, uh, on a business level, with a financial level, they want employees that are engaged and motivated. And, and that's an important piece of it. But really, on the individual level, you know, feeling that we belong, feeling that how we see the world and how we contrib contribute matter. So if you're in a work, work environment where you're not feeling that, you, you I really encourage you to reconsider if you're in the right workplace. Maybe you are, but it needs to, you need to step up and take that leadership position in your own life and have some clear uh, conversations with the people on your team and your superior so that you can really know that that's a place where you matter. And if it's not, it's so much better for you to find a place where you do. You know, you do matter. You need to take yourself seriously and no one else will give it to you. You really need to be responsible for your own contentment in your work life. That's an important skill. You need to give that to yourself. Some other statistics here is 70% of people think that businesses should come up with some of the solutions to the big issues that we face in society today, such as unemployment and climate change. And that survey is from Havas Meaningful Brands. It's a 2014 survey. Another one from Monday Morning is a think tank in Copenhagen. It's a global think tank. A survey from beginning of this year, 2015, a company's awareness of its social and environmental responsibility are of high important, importance to its brand, culture, and performance. And moreover, in that same survey, it's found that conscious capitalism is one of the eight predicting trends for 2015, who finds that almost two out of three people prefer to work for a company that makes a positive difference in the world. Moreover, Deloitte created a millennial, millennial survey in the beginning of 2015 as well and found that 77% of millennials, they chose to work where they work because of the company's sense of purpose. They would rather choose a place where they feel they matter and they contribute in a company. And it's important for companies to focus on people and purpose, not just product and profits. So the trend is shifting, and I'm very, very pleased to see that. People like us and people like you, we're changing the environment. We're taking responsibility for the type of career and life that we want to live. We actually have a choice. And thank God there's more and more people that understand that way of doing business. You're not alone. We're a huge community on a global scale, and we will support each other. And that's also why taking your leadership skills to the next level, ultimately, first and foremost, you will give yourself a life of satisf satisfaction. And that is initially the most important thing. Because if we cannot give ourselves what we need, if we cannot care for ourselves, we have very little to give to people in the world around us. But once we get into that place, of doing business that is through our heart where we are so vital you know we're alive in a big sense we're shining our light we give permission to people around us to do the same so we actually spread these ripples of living from true passion and purpose and so by you doing it you're actually setting the people around you free as well it's a huge gift